Greetings car fanatics, so I finally got my car back from the upholstery shop after the tent shop damaged the leather on my door panels. Let's go ahead and take a look at the repaired work and see what it looks like now. Then I'll give you an overview of the damage and what actually happened to the leather. Alright, so the upper portion on the door was replaced. So overall, uh, when I looked at this panel and everything else, it looks really good. Uh, for this particular panel, the stitching is a little off right here. It's a little um, asymmetrical. And then right here, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but overall, the upholstery shop did a really good job matching this leather with the original um, leather on the door panels. You got your French seams that match up. And um, the leather is extremely supple and soft because it is brand new Porsche leather. Um, the color matches pretty much perfectly. The older leather is a little more shiny compared to the new leather which is a bit more matte and that's simply because of all the oil and stuff that happens and gets on the leather over time uh, but you know the sheen will start to even out on the new leather and match the rest as it ages so looking at the back panel um, they did a really good job fitting the uh, little screen over here in with the leather uh, really can't notice anything right here there's one spot that's a little bit lower where it seems like they had to kind of wedge that in to get it to fit. But other than that, it's a big improvement over the uh, damaged leather that they were replacing. All right, so let's take a look at the original leather and what kind of damage uh, this leather has on it. So this is the um, leather piece off of the front passenger side. The door handle would have gone right here and this edge was right up against the window and this is exactly where we have the water damage so I'm going to give a brief explanation about modern day leathers modern day leathers are top coated so you have this top coat that goes on the leather that's based on polyurethane um, so it's kind of like a clear coat on paint but you know for leather and it gives the leather the color as well as making it resistant to um, moisture and water and so forth. So if you put some water on top of this coated leather it probably wouldn't really absorb the water. Um, but if we actually look at the back side of the leather you actually see that it has you know it's pretty much suede um, the leather isn't coated and moisture can easily come through the back side. So when the tint shop squeegeed the water down on the edge it basically came down to the backside and the backside was able to absorb all of that moisture right along the edge which led to the water damage that we see here so even though modern day leathers are coated um, it means uh, that it's going to be a little resistant to water however right at the seams or the edges the leather will be very vulnerable to absorbing moisture uh, even even though it's coated so that's something to keep in mind to keep your leather finish looking good now in terms of applying conditioners and stuff like that to leather most of the time if you have pretty new leather and you apply conditioner to your leather the conditioner will not get past this polyurethane coat coating there are exceptions though with older leathers that are coated because as the leather ages, you start to get you know some little micro cracks in the uh, polyurethane coating. Additionally, right at the seams and the edges, the leather can still absorb product. So if you are going to condition your, your leather, there's still a possibility of getting some of it past the polyurethane coating. Um, you know, like right at the edges and the seams and stuff like that, you're able to potentially get some conditioner right into here and have that get pulled up into the leather or if your leather, again, is a little bit old enough and it has some micro cracks and stuff in it, your leather could absorb moisture through the little micro cracks in the polyurethane coating. Um, so in terms of just protecting your leather, you definitely don't want to get it wet. You also don't want to apply a lot of heat to your leather. Now, this is water damage, but at the same time, there is some heat damage associated with what you see here. Um, so water damage alone won't necessarily cause this effect. It's like when the leather gets wet and then it dries quickly, that's when you get the worst damage because 
the um, moisture is leaving the leather very quickly and along with it goes the um, oils in the leather. Additionally, when the leather is hot, you actually have a reorientation of the leather fibers. So leather, you know, has its own grain and it moves in a certain direction. But when you actually get leather really hot, and especially when it's wet, the different grains will actually reorient themselves in random uh, directions. So when we look at the leather here, it just looks like, you know, a uniform rough piece of leather. And that's because all the fibers just reorientated themselves in random directions. So while you could probably get some conditioner um, to soften up this leather a bit, there's nothing you really can do to reverse, uh, you know, the orientation of these fibers. Um, so big lesson learned there. Well, that's a very brief overview of what happened to the leather door panels on my Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Um, big lesson learned for the tint shop because this job to do all four doors probably cost the tent shop, I want to say, anywhere between two to four thousand dollars. So not a uh, you know cheap lesson for them to learn, um, but hopefully they won't repeat this on other customers' cars. Uh, but again, I'm not going to mention the um, tent shop's name because they were very courteous, um, didn't dispute the damage at all, and you know offered to pay for the damage. So very grateful for that. Well, thanks for watching Car Fanatics. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave me questions or comments below.